Hey guys, so today I wanted to talk about a group of butterworts that we haven't really talked about too much before. I'm always crowing about Mexican butterworts, and I've showed you some of the temperate butterworts, but what I want to talk about today are a group called uh, warm temperate butterworts. That's a phrase that Peter came up with. These are species uh, that only grow in the southeastern United States. Um, so they grow right next to American pitcher plants and Venus flytraps, and we happen to have them for sale right now on the webpage, so I wanted to show you guys the ones that we're selling really quickly here. This is Pinguicula planifolia. Planifolia rosettes can be dark red when grown in full sun. Like a lot of times when I've seen these growing in bogs, they're just like so dark red and they glisten like nothing else. There's something so glisteny about their leaves. I think it's the size of the droplets because they're just so small. Their flowers are kind of white and lobed and aren't as beautiful as a Mexican butterwort, but they make up for that in spades with their beautiful, beautiful leaves. And these are the actual ones that we're selling. And they're really nice, big, healthy plants that we were able to get from a grower. So I'm really excited to have these. Um, Right behind them here, I have another species. This is Pinguicula cerulea. These guys have a really beautiful purple flower. There's one right there. They have kind of a little white fuzzy throat too. And they have green rosettes, really beautiful contrast between the plants. And those are likewise also really nice, healthy, big plants. We are shipping these all bare root, so you have to pot them up when they get there. A little look into the future down here. We also have some Pinguicula lutea. Lutea means yellow in Latin. And so they have green leaves. So you might guess their flowers are so super yellow, really, really bright yellow. Um, and that's the only butterwort that has yellow flowers like that. Just to take a little bit of time, since you might be thinking about trying these out, um, how to take care of these guys. So what we mean by warm temperate, you know, in the South, like Alabama, Georgia, Florida Panhandle where these grow. It's really super hot in the summertime and very high humidity. Even at night, it's probably only getting down to like 80 degrees. Um, and it's pretty much 100% humidity all summer long. Uh, well, it probably, it varies a little bit, but it feels like it to me from here, back from here from California. Uh, and so it also gets kind of cold there. So they have these really hot summers, but then it will freeze, you know, so it can definitely get into the 20s, um, occasionally overnight, and sometimes even light snow, even in like Southern Alabama, I think that happens once in a while, especially this crazy weather that we've been having. So they're not great indoors actually, but they are a really great plant to grow outdoors in bog gardens. The bog gardens are great because you can give them like a little low spot, um, a little bit lower so that they stay extra wet, or maybe if it's in an undrained container where it floods a little bit. And if you don't have a bog garden and you want to try growing it anyways, I would pot it up into a nice ceramic pot without a drainage hole in it, and then leave the soil just below the top of the pot, that soil line, so that there's space for water to rest. They like to be submerged underwater for like, um, you know, maybe a day or two even. Lots of times when I've seen these growing in the wild, they're still submerged underneath the water. And one time where I was looking at this one place, we saw little fish skeletons all scattered around the plants because they'd probably been underwater, underwater for a couple of weeks before it finally dried out enough for them to start catching bugs and doing their thing. So make sure they flood, that's really super important. Um, I think that's about all. Uh, if you guys wanna give them a shot, they're on the webpage right now. I'm super excited to have them. I hope you're excited to try them too.